Hi, One Forum News brings you the best. Please kindly subscribe. Let us take a look at the new development on the case involving Dr. Nandipa and Tabo Besta, that is the escape from prison in South Africa. It is now obvious that Dr. Nandipa will spend her Christmas in jail, behind bars, because the court has denied her bail again, as all the illegal attempts to get her out on bail prove futile. This time, Judge Melissa Jordan denied her and explicitly said that the reason she gave in her application to go back to be with her children could not hold water, as she voluntarily left those children with their biological father and so Jen with a notorious Tabo Besta, who she allegedly helped to escape from prison. The judge, however, acknowledged how sad it is for a mother to be far away from her children for so long. But she, Dr. Nandipa, chose that route and left them to Tanzania. She also said that Dr. Nandipa was the alleged main architect in the case involving the escape of her convicted boyfriend, Tabu Pesta. Judge Jordan further agreed with earlier ruling by a different judge who also denied her bail and stated that Dr. Nandipa is a flight risk. But looking at the issues critically, she seems to have other windows of opportunities in seeking for bail, and it is highly likely that through her lawyers, she will explore those opportunities also. This is getting so sad, but there is nothing that we can do as observers because the spirit of Catlego still hung upon South Africa. Not until justice is served, Catlego will never rest. So there is a need for justice, and the right thing must be done by the courts in South Africa. In court, the one time old cheerful lady was morose, sad, and seems to be praying or was making some lips movement, like someone speaking in tongues or chanting. And as an observer, I guess as realities are setting in, it is necessary for spirituality to set in as well, to keep her going, for life is spiritual. Some even argue that she brought all this to herself at a time that she was supposed to make her case for a bill stronger. She missed it by showing absolute and unadulterated love and affection to Tabu Besta when they first met in an open court. Meanwhile, she earlier in her own case filed in court, alleged that she was kidnapped and taken to Tanzania by the very man that she was so cheerful and happy with when they met in court. Only God knows what was going through their minds when they were doing that. Also, in a different development, her darling boyfriend, Tabo Bester, was also in court with other accomplices who are on bail and facing the trial. Tabo seems not to be so happy for not seeing his own Nandipa, who he last met in an open court for the first time some men back. But who knows, as an observer, there may be some arrangement behind the scenes that we don't know, because anything can happen when it comes to South Africa prison system. Once upon a time, the same Tabo Besta was able to organize birthday in prison and also organize conference for people all over the world from prison. So anything at all will happen. The trial is still ongoing, and everything is clear that it's going to be a full whole trial. And we shall bring you every detail as and when it happens. But for now, be in touch and kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best analysis on politics, crime, security, and historical facts. Kindly like and comment. Thank you.